While traveling as a passenger on a window seat, you might have observed the fascinating airport lights. So let's dive into this world of airport lights. Here we have various airport lights right from the runway lights, taxiway lights, approach lights, etc. Let's see first runway edge lights. Runway edge lights are the one which would be delineating the boundaries of the runway. They are on the sides of the runway which indicate the extremities of the runway on left and right side. These runway edge lights are white in color which will be useful to know the extremities of the runway. Runway center line lights. Runway center line lights if available then they would delineate the center line of the runway and that is helpful for the pilots to maintain center line while takeoff and landing. It is especially useful in low visibility conditions to guide the pilot along the center line of the runway during takeoff and landing. These runway center line lights are also white in color. If the spacing between the runway center line lights is 30 meters, then the pilot can take off up to runway visual range of 150 meters, provided that pilot is qualified for the low visibility conditions to take off. If the spacing between the runway center line lights is 15 meters, then pilot can take off even if the runway visual range is up to 125 meters. Lower is the spacing between the center line lights, the lower the RVR or runway visual range up to which a pilot can take off. Runway threshold lights are unidirectional green lights which will be emitted in the direction of approach. The runway threshold lights are green to delineate the runway threshold beyond which it is safe to land the plane. Runway touchdown zone lights are white in color delineating the runway touchdown zone. The runway touchdown zone is the first 3000 feet of the runway for longer runways which are greater than 2400 meters. This runway touchdown zone will indicate the safe zone where an airplane should touch down. This is subjected to airplane weight, atmospheric conditions at the place of destination or departure or alternate etc. Then stopway lights. Stopway lights are red in color which will be delineating the stopway. The stopway may or may not be available. If stopway is available, it is present beyond the end of the runway. This is used as an additional distance in case of reject takeoff or abort takeoff. Abort takeoff might have to be done in case of any kind of an emergency with the airplane or in case if the safe takeoff is not possible or as per the instructions from the ATC. So there is an additional distance that might be available beyond the runway which is known as stopway and that stopway is indicated by red lights. Then approach lights. Approach lights are categorized into three broad types. One is simple approach light system, other is category one approach lights, then category two, three approach lights. Approach lights are the one which are used to augment or enhance the visibility for pilots and identify runway in an easy manner when you are on short final or in final stages of approach to land. This approach light system, if it is simple approach light system, it would be having the length of 420 meters or more. This approach light system would have one crossbar at about 300 meters from the runway threshold. Simple approach light system would be available for runways which are non-instrument runways or non-precision approach runways. Then category one approach light system. Category one approach light system extends up to 900 meters or beyond. And this approach light system would have multiple crossbars and they would be extending beyond 300 meters as well. To enhance the visibility of the runway, there is a possibility of the strobe lights which would be flashing lights and they would ripple towards the threshold. This will indicate the pilot that threshold is in a certain direction. So these are the ways to enhance the or help the pilot 
to identify the location of the threshold in case of low visibility conditions as well as at night time category 23 approach light system is used in low visibility conditions at airports like delhi in india or bangalore at cat 2 or 3 approach light system in addition to the white and red lights there will be two broad red stripes which are there towards the end of the approach lights very close to the threshold to indicate that the runway is approaching and this approach light system is very very complex and that is used for pilots to identify the runway when visibility is really low very very close to you know 75 meters runway threshold identification lights are the one rotating flashing white lights which are there on the sides of the threshold which will help identify the location of the threshold after landing on the runway when you have to exit the runway on a taxiway there would be a rapid exit taxiway rapid exit taxiway would allow the pilot to exit the runway and minimize the runway occupancy time when the airplane is at a certain speed and not completely stop and then exit this rapid exit taxiway lights are alternate yellow and green in color the taxiway center line lights are green in color and taxiway edge lights are blue in color in the last 900 meters of the runway from 900 to 300 meter from runway end is indicated by alternate red and white lights and the last 300 meters of the runway is indicated and delineated by red lights this indicates that the runway is about to end and an airplane must stop at the earliest before the runway ends stop bar lights stop bar lights are red in color which are used in low visibility conditions as well as the airports which are equipped with low visibility operations these stop bar lights are the ones which need to be respected at all times whenever these stop bar lights are on pilot must wait before entering the runway these stop bar lights are there at runway holding position when air traffic control gives clearance to a particular airplane to enter the runway pilot has to ensure that stop bar lights are out or off and then after clearance from atc a pilot can enter the runway so stop bar lights are the ones which is one more line of defense in addition to the air traffic control clearance to enter the active runway runway guard lights are the one which are there when stop bar lights are not available and runway guard lights are flashing yellow lights on both sides of the taxiway at runway holding position The stop bar lights is one more line of defense in addition to air traffic control clearance. So, if stop bar lights are on, pilots must wait until these light go out before entering the runway. So, if the stop bar lights are out and once you get air traffic control clearance, then only a pilot can enter the runway. These stop bar lights are red unidirectional lights in the direction of taxiing airplane. so we have seen all of these lights i hope you have followed the meaning of these lights and uh, if you have any more queries you can put down in the comments below and uh, let us know if you have followed this thank you very much have a great day ahead bye